Beginnings for a convention, but very heartfelt and important by family. I'm sure all of you know uh, Gary Kahn came out his memorial convention held in honor of my, my dad, Gary Gygax. Um, and when he passed, uh, it touched uh, so many people's lives, and a lot of people came uh, came to Lake Geneva just to uh, pay homage uh, when, he, when he died. And uh, because of that and all the outpouring, um, I just felt we had to do something. So I got together with my, uh, my family. Um, I don't know if Bernie's, I think Bernie's playing a game, I think he's here at the moment. But we have uh, Heidi and, and Cindy are, are here and two grandchildren, so there's lots of guy gags around. I don't know if uh, Elise is over there. I don't know if Alex is here, but it's a family reunion for us. But I thought the right thing to do was to welcome all of our gaming family in and uh, uh, just have a chance to share stories about my father and uh, play games and have fun. And uh, that's what Gary Con's all about. And uh, uh, out of that memorial, out of that wait, uh, someone said, hey, this is a great idea, I'll do it again next year. I did, um, and it's grown to become uh, from, a, gosh, I think I had 160 people the first year, we're over 2,200 this year, so we've grown by another, yeah! 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 and we've expanded from, I don't know, a thousand square feet at the American uh, Legion Hall to over about 50,000 square feet here, so. Uh, we still got some room to grow here in Lake Geneva, so it's okay if you tell your friend. It's not too many. Because uh, <laughs> I don't want to move again, that'd be too much. <laughs> but uh, uh, as this thing is, as this convention has grown and more people come and share uh, and celebrate with us, celebrate uh, a life well played, uh, we came up with the idea to recognize someone uh, and award them with the E. Gary Gygax uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, the first year. We recognized uh, Jim Ward. Uh, second year, this gentleman here, uh, Tim Cask, was recognized. And uh, uh, this year, uh, we have a very uh, another great uh, uh, person in mind. And uh, Tim, did you want to? Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm pass. I'm going to pass the microphone to Tim. Yeah. All right. First off, any of you were here last year when I received this, I apologize for standing up there gawking like a fish. I was in chemo, I got deathly ill two weeks later. So again, I'm honored. Now this year, I've been asked to present this to someone who I think, well I'm not going to tell you anything this person did because as soon as I name one thing, you'll know. But this is a person that I respect and admire greatly and took our beloved hobby to another level, another depth. And um, I won't string it out any longer. Oh, well, I will tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> when, I got my, when I got my award, I joked with, with Jim Ward that we got to start calling this, oh my God, they're about to die award. Because <laughs> we're both deadly ill when we received it. We're breaking that tradition this year. As far as I know, Margaret Weiss is oh, hey. yeah. 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 Yeah.
facilitating it, and then something happened with the writer. And as I understand it, you were so invested with it, you guys just decided to take the ball and run with it. And then there was this uh, little book uh, series that came out with a couple modules called Dragonlance. <laughs> and the world of Craig was born. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think that was going on just for a couple decades. Uh, and so many of the people who are in this room probably may have uh, shaped a lot of their ideas about what a fantasy uh, world would be like through reading her work. Uh, but she's not just an, uh, the New York, uh, uh, best, uh, New York Times best-selling author. Uh, she's also a game uh, publisher. She's had a couple of uh, different uh, uh, game publishing companies, Sovereign and Stone Press definitely was one, and then Quest Productions as well. Uh, put out just a couple games you, you may have heard about. Uh, and she's won some great, she's uh, uh, already in the Origins Hall of Fame. So it's very appropriate, no surprise here, uh, that we're able to honor you with the Eager Drag X Lifetime Achievement Award for uh, 2018. And now that I've uh, said just a couple words, I'm going to give you a humble to any of those great achievements. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sir, here. Sir, here. <laughs> I have it. All right, we're ready to get it. 